What's up, guys? What? So, I made a remark in my last video saying that we all have at least two voices in our head at any given time, sometimes three. And depending on which one you're listening to will dictate where your life's going. Depending on where you're at in life, <laughs> you'll be able to know which one you've been listening to. And let me tell you, there's a part of you, there's an entity inside you that doesn't want you to succeed, doesn't want you to have a happy life, doesn't want you to find love, doesn't want anything, just wants you to be miserable, wants you to sit in a room all day staring at your phone watching YouTube videos so it could preserve the most energy. Because guess what? Our bodies were built to preserve as much energy as we can at any given moment. So when the time comes and we need that energy, it's there. So it will talk you out of doing anything that will move you forward in life. And if you keep on giving in to that fucking weak fucking voice, you're not gonna go anywhere in life. Now the first step to actually creating the life that you want is to know where you want to go, where you want to be. What do you want to do? You know, those are usually the three questions that you ask yourself when you're trying to figure out life in general. But me, I go about it a little bit differently. I don't look at, you know, what I want to do, where I want to be, none of that shit. I, I dictate where I'm going by my state of being. It's not necessarily something that I want to do or somewhere I want to be, but more so how I want to feel. And that's it. And I think it's a lot easier to manifest your dreams through your state of being. Meaning, you know, as long as I'm like, I'll give you an example for me. I just want to find fulfillment in helping others achieve their dreams to... To help them better their life by any means, you know, whether that's, you know, they're struggling with addiction or some type of disorder or mental illness, whatever it is, I want, I want to assist them through that dark time. And however the universe wants to bring that to me, I'm okay. But my only stipulations is I want to feel fulfilled. I want to, I want to, I want to be joyful while I'm doing it. I want to find happiness. I want to find love, like self-love. Not no artificial ass love from some other entity because that's not real love. You will never experience real love until you experience self-love. That's guaranteed. All that other shit, it's a distraction. And just think, we all have had it where, you know, we, uh, you know, we found somebody, right? And in the beginning of that relationship, you felt so good. That person was always on your mind and maybe got butterflies in your stomach. And, you know, your whole day, your whole week just changed just from that one person. You know, that's how powerful love can be. Now, imagine real love, self-love and waking up and feeling that love from within and being excited to take on the day. Cause you know you're just gonna be filled with love and joy and fulfillment and happiness, satisfaction, gratitude, all that. That is achievable and that is the goal. But sometimes we get distracted and think we need our external environment to bring that to us, but we don't. That is already within us. That is actually our natural state of being. It's our natural state of being. When you were a child, it didn't take nothing except maybe a <laughs> or something to fucking just light you up, make you feel laughing, joyful, happy, all that. And then that disappeared somewhere down the lines. Whether it was, uh, you know, social conditioning, your parents, your siblings, whoever, whoever, it doesn't matter who it was. Knowing who took it from you is not going to solve your problem. 
but knowing that you're responsible for getting that back now that will that will serve you just know that ain't no one responsible for your happiness for your love for your joy that is all created from within and the moment that you hold yourself accountable for bringing that into your life that's when your life will start changing and it just doesn't happen overnight you know, your life wasn't just fucked up overnight. No, it was a fucking sequence of events that further confirmed. But if you just take this first step, that's all it takes. And the first step is finding out what you want. How do you want to be? What's your state of being that you want to naturally be at? And then just state to the universe, this is my intention. I, my, I intend to create the state of being as my natural state of being. And then the universe will respond to you. And then once that's your natural set point, it will give, it will send you experiences, people, situations that will further confirm that state of joy, that state of love, that, that, that fulfillment. I don't know if success is a, is a state of being. I think fulfillment is success on another level. It is like success on steroids, fulfillment, you know? Because there's no way that you could be fulfilled and not be successful. Or at least in Western society, I would say. But that's just my opinion, guys. That's my belief. It's not yours. Just remember, it's our beliefs that create our reality. So ask yourself, what do my beliefs, what are my beliefs creating for me? You know? Because in my eyes, if my beliefs tell me that fulfillment is a state of success and I am finding ways to, fill, to bring fulfillment, then success is just going to be drawn to me. It's going to be a, a side effect to that, to that state of being that I'm creating. And all, all fulfillment is, is a neural pathway in your, in your brain that's getting, rewired, that's getting wired. And the more that you practice wiring it, it's going to be there. And in some, like, I don't know if you follow NLP, but that's Neuro Linguistics Programming. There's things called anchors. And you anchor that state of being into you. So let's just say, you know, something in your external environment pissed you off. And you're sitting there dwelling in that fucking that shitty ass feeling, that shitty state of being. You can create an anchor to get you out of it. So every time you're in that state of being, you can maybe clap your hands, snap your fingers, you know, squeeze your thumbs, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. There's no wrong answer. It will bring that state of being. You'll connect with it. And that's what it's about, you know. It's not about fucking Lexuses and Land Rovers and mansions and that's just a side effect of your state of being. That's all that is, guys. That's all it is. And the moment that you realize it, that you're not looking to get a Mercedes and you're not looking for, you know, a fucking superstar, Kim Kardashian girlfriend. You're just looking for a state of being. And if you are looking for those other things, then maybe you got a little bit more work to do, you know? I'm not being judgment, judgmental. I'm just saying, you know, you can't take that shit with you when you leave this life. The only thing you could take with you is the love in your heart. That is the only thing that is coming with you. The only thing that's coming with you is your state of being. It's the only thing worth a damn. Because I guarantee you, I'm sure you've heard it many times. There's a bunch of fucking miserable ass millionaire, billionaire, trillionaires there's a bunch of miserable ass fucks out there with money and guess what they can't rely on their external environment anymore to dictate their happiness because they they realize that they created it they have it all as far as their external environment but there's something still missing so that just goes to show you that that's not going to bring that that's just pleasure that's just momentary pleasure that's all it is and just realize that. I'm not saying that it's, you know, don't go out and get nice things because everybody loves nice things. 
But I just want you to realize that it's not the nice things that bring the happiness. It's your state of being. So if anything, if I had any advice for any of you, I would work on how to create my state of being, a natural vibrational set point where at any given time, you could just be present and say, how am I feeling? Okay, I'm feeling great. All right, good. Let's move on. Or, hey, I'm feeling like shit. Okay, well, let me raise this a little bit so I don't sit there and fucking attract some bullshit in my life that I ain't trying to experience. Because remember, it's our mind that's creating this. Our mind is a, is a, it's a tool. You could either use it in your, in your favor or you could use, it's going to be used against you. So you might as well make a choice. What are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to, uh, be uh, your brain's master or are you going to be the servant you have a choice there's always a choice everybody not everybody but a lot of, of the victims out there they're like but I don't have a choice I don't have a choice you always have a choice you just have the uh, there's just an illusion that you don't because maybe making that choice comes with some some consequences but how do you know those consequences aren't going to lead you to exactly where you want to be in my experience some of the worst things that have ever happened to me aligned me on my path to the greatest life you know and I, I'm still growing of course I am every day and that's what this life's about is just growth Come in your best version. Best version. As long as you take baby steps and don't get down on yourself when you make a mistake, you'll get there. You'll get there. There's no there's no other way. There's no choice. It, it has to happen. Just know that it has to happen. There's no maybes. There's no no's. It's yes, it's going to happen. If you want something and you're working towards it, and you're keeping a positive mindset, it's guaranteed to happen. Know that, it's guaranteed. And if that don't happen, something better will that you couldn't even fathom. You couldn't even fathom. Just remember, when you go to the gym and you start exercising, you start working out, you're gonna fucking grow muscle, you're gonna build muscle, you're gonna burn fat, and you're gonna build a body that you like looking at in the mirror, it's guaranteed. Because you're putting in the work and it's the same aspect if you put in the work the results will show up you know they might not show up as fast as you'd like them to and that's where patience comes in be patient with yourself be fucking patient once you learn patience oh man nothing can stop you you're just sitting there you're just waiting for it to happen so many people think they got to make these drastic ass moves in life to make something happen. And that's further from the truth too. It's always I, where I've gotten in my life. It's all done through baby steps. And a lot of times I took three steps forward and two steps back, three steps forward, two steps back. But guess what? When I'm moving forward, I'm always a step ahead. And that's all that matters. It's all that matters. There's no shortcuts in life. That's guaranteed. I've learned that. Fucking numerous times, the hard way. No shortcuts. So ask yourself this question today. If there's two entities inside me, one wants me to succeed and one wants me to fail, which one are you listening to? I'm just... I'm just here, guys, doing what I feel like I should be doing because you know what? I don't know exactly what my purpose is, but I know it is to be of service. And I just can't sit around doing nothing. I'm not not doing nothing. I'm doing my, my work within, you know, myself and finding out who my true authentic self is. But sometimes, you know, you need something else. At least I do. So I figured, you know, why not just make a few YouTube videos, you know? Do I plan on being this fucking YouTuber? No, but it could be it a part of it. it could be a part of the purpose a part of the plan you know it's just a piece of the puzzle guys 
we get a little piece of the puzzle at a time, just one piece. And once we find where that piece goes, we get another one, then another one, and then another one. Until so you're looking at this big old mural of this beautiful masterpiece. And if someone was to just take this fucking puzzle and dump it out right in front of you, you'd be overwhelmed. You'd be overwhelmed. You wouldn't know what to do and you'd just give up and say, fuck it, I'm good. So therefore, they'll just give you a piece at a time. And just be grateful for that piece. Every little piece that you get, be grateful for it. Say, thank you. I'm gonna find where this goes. And once I find where this piece goes, I will be back asking for another piece and another piece and another piece. And that's what it's about, guys. Slow incremental steps, you know? Like, what could you do today that will get you closer to your best version? And I mean little steps. It could be, it could be as little as, you know, I'm gonna drink more water today. You know, I don't drink enough water. I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna drink more water. Or instead of, you know, getting that number six at McDonald's, I'm just gonna get the salad and, you know, some apple slices. Small steps, guys. Small steps. And you know what? The next time you come back to McDonald's, you might fuck up and order that number six with that Diet Coke. But guess what? You're going to think like, damn, I didn't make the right choice. Oh, well, I'm not going to dwell on it. But next time I know better, I'm going to make a better decision. Be mindful, guys. Be present. And just remember, happiness is a choice. Misery is a choice. What are you choosing? Hit that subscribe button if you want. Either way, I'm just going to push this. I'm just going to put them out there, man. I'm just going to put them out there. Put them out there. Put them out there. Have a blessed day. Nothing but love.